Hi, following on from my manga video, I wanted to discuss webtoons I've been reading. So I haven't really kept up with any webtoon for about a year. A thing I found with the ones I read was that they just went on for a long ass time, more than they needed to. So I just took a bit of a break. During lockdown, I started going through my list and inevitably got a few webtoon on there. I've read some hit and misses, but there's also been some really amazing ones I've read. These are ongoing series that I really recommend for people looking for their next series or even newcomers to webtoons to read. The Villainess Lives Twice A scheming genius, making an emperor. Your brother has to do well for you to also do well. By committing all sorts of evil acts, she made her brother the emperor. But in return for her devotion, Artsia got betrayed. And the one that reaches out his hand to save her from the verge of death is her righteous enemy, Grand Duke Cedric. I can't think of anyone else that can flip this situation around except you, Marchioness Roseanne. I need your strength. I think my favourite thing about this webtoon is how clever the female lead is. You slowly realise as you read the chapters how everything she does is part of her scheme. Now, the plot summary doesn't say like the biggest thing that happens, the reason for the title's name. Is it a spoiler to say? Okay, so spoilers ahead. By the way, I have no idea if I'm pronouncing any of these names correctly. Okay, so Artsia dies and wakes up. Was it a few years before her brother's ascension? Because of the fact she got betrayed and was just mistreated by her family, she turns her attention to help Cedric gain the throne. And because she knows everyone's secret, she is just scheming everything and using everyone as her chess pieces to get her brother out. It's so good seeing her just absolutely checkmate her family. There's a budding romance with Cedric as well. I'm hoping they build it up a bit more and give it more time to grow. But yeah, if you want a strong female lead who uses her brain, this is the one. Lamia Orfe is dead. Lamia Orfe is to become the future successor of the Orfe dukedom, but at 22 years of age, she suddenly decides to give up her own title. On the other hand, the second prince, Aquila Theodore Benza, has powers that transcend beyond that of a normal human. Notorious for being cruel and merciless as the son of a desert witch, he competes against his brother, the first prince, Ethan Taylor Benza, to succeed the throne. What lies in store for Aquila and Lamia? How are their fates intertwined with the legendary dragon? Potential spoilers. So we take the perspective of Lamia as she decides to relinquish her ascension to her brother, so that she can exact revenge on a certain person for harming her brother. We slowly realise through the chapters that there is a bigger scheme at play, and Aquila knows that. His spoiler is basically said in the first chapter, but as it's not in the plot summary, I won't say. This webtoon is going to let us see the journey of the romance between Aquila and Lamia, as well as what the bigger picture is. This is another webtoon with the strongest female. This time, Lamia is physically strong as well as mentally strong. I'm noticing a pattern that the MCs of all these webtoons are sly and scheming women. Um, that wasn't planned. Ellen Solhua. The last thing Ellen remembers is having to deal with a belligerent customer at her dead end job. And when she opened her eyes, she's Solhua. The beautiful fourth concubine to the king of the Shiran Empire. Between trying to learn the language and eating steak, Ellen's trying to figure out exactly what's going on. Where is she? How did this happen? And who can she trust? Solhua's handsome, handsome, <laughs> Solhua's handsome, charismatic childhood friend, or the elegant, raven-haired king's advisor? I mean, she fucking learns that within like the first season, but whatever. This webtoon follows Ellen as she is transported to another world where she has to compete to be the queen. The pacing of this webtoon is really fast, which has good and bad points but it means you're always on the tip of your toes. I think the romance within this webtoon is really sweet and I can't wait to see where it's going. If this is made into a drama, oh my god. I think this is the one of all this list that I'd, I want to see in drama form. Oh my god, it'd be so sweet. <laughs> college student empress. Hazel Shin is a beautiful college student who lived her life to the fullest until one day she opened her eyes where she was now the empress in a world she only heard of. So I added this manhwa literally like a month after I already recorded the audio for the previous three, but I read this like yesterday and I just, I love it so much and I just wanted it to be in here. So there's definitely a theme here of strong female leads, which wasn't intentional, but what can I say? I got taste. When the manhwa starts, we see Hazel in the present, then time jumped to her as an empress. Shin accepts it pretty quickly that she's the Empress and this isn't a prank. So what I really like about this webtoon is the female lead. For me, she has such a likeable personality. She doesn't take any shit and she always has the last laugh. She actively plays the part of an Empress in love with the Emperor just for a laugh. And it's so refreshing to see that. She's physically strong as well as mentally sly. She's got game peeps. I can't wait to see how this story develops. Spoiler for anyone else who hasn't read this. 
Does anyone else kind of want it to become a Yuri between Lady Lin and Empress Shin? Like, why am I shipping them so hard? I do definitely think Lady Lin is going to be gay. I just, my gaydar is going off, guys. I, I can just sense it. And I, I'm, I'm here for it, okay? I'm here for it. I mean, I doubt Empress Shin is going to actually have a love line with Lady Lin. I actually think this one could work in maybe an anime or drama form. But we'll see how it progresses. Um, side note, can we just talk about how Crunchyroll is adapting webtoons now? I'm so fucking hyped. Oh my god. I I think the longest webtoon I read was Noblesse, which is having a fucking anime. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Like, oh, if they start adapting, like, shoujo webtoons, I'm so, Oh my god. Right, on this list, which one would I want to see as an anime? I would say... The Villainess Lives Twice. It's either that one or Lamia or Faye is dead. Oh, they would be such good anime. We need more strong female and scheming characters in anime. Oh god, I'm so excited. I'm like excited but I still haven't watched any of the anime yet. My list has just been so fucking immense. Okay, so if you enjoyed watching this video, let me know. And if you read any of these webtoons or if you have read any of these webtoons, do let me know your thoughts on them as I'd be curious. Which one in this list would you like to see as an anime and which one would you like to see as a drama? See you in the next one. Bye!